So last year, uh, around this time of year, right around the release of the Nintendo Switch, I released a video on YouTube talking about why I would not buy a Switch. Now, the main reasoning about that was sort of because of its release. And with the release of the Switch, everybody was on edge and people didn't really know if this was going to be a success because the Wii U kind of became a failure. And it's, you know, surprising how much the Switch grew. And a lot of the images that I had seen before and the demos for things like, you know, Skyrim and, you know, a bunch of different games that were going to be on the Switch, uh, a lot of them released within the year of the Switch's release. Especially Skyrim kind of caught me off guard because I thought that was going to take the longest to put on the Switch. But believe it or not, they released it within the same year that the Switch came out, which is surprising. And a lot of things have changed, especially the way I've thought about the Switch. And now that a year has passed, the ultimate question comes. Will I get a Switch? So, you clicked on this video because you want to see me talk about why I want to get a Switch. So the ultimate question is, will I get a Switch? And the answer is, maybe. The reason why I say maybe is because the Switch is such a unique console, but I need to find use for it in my day-to-day. -day. And I think that with its portability, it can actually garner a buy. But there is a small factor as to why I don't get a Switch now. And that is because of five different games that I would like to see on the Switch that have been, let's create a word now, portabilized. Games that have been portabilized that are not on the Switch should be on the Switch and eventually, I believe, will be on the Switch. So let's talk about the five games that I've talked about that I believe, I truly believe, would be an immense push to the Switch. So, let's get to it. First up, a game that I think would be incredible on the Switch is Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 sequel in Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Yeah, I said Borderlands like three times there. But I feel this would be an incredible port to go to the Nintendo Switch. Especially for the fact that Borderlands has been ported once to the PS Vita, and a lot of people complained about that version. But seeing that the Nintendo Switch is a very powerful handheld console, I think this would be an incredible addition to its lineup. Now next up, a great game that would be to play on the Nintendo Switch would be the Batman Arkham series. And I feel like if they were to release a collection version of the Batman Arkham series, it would be incredible on the Switch. Plus, Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Asylum are games that were played on previous generations. And even if they would add Batman Arkham Origins, that would be an even greater feat. But I think this would be an incredible part of the Nintendo Switch lineup. Now next up, a game that needs pretty much no introduction is the Fallout series. I feel the Fallout series would be an incredible addition to the Nintendo Switch lineup, especially seen for the fact that Skyrim was released on the Nintendo Switch, so I feel like it really wouldn't be that big a deal to release Fallout on the Nintendo Switch. Plus, we would be getting Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. But who knows, maybe they might find a way to put Fallout 4 onto the Nintendo Switch would be amazing. Now this should be common sense to anybody getting a portable console, and that is, you want long hours, and I feel Assassin's Creed would be that one game that you would spend hours with, just like the other games I've said before. I feel Assassin's Creed would be an awesome game to put on the Nintendo Switch, seeing that there's a lot of versions of Assassin's Creed that are portable, like the version for the Vita, the version for the PSP. I mean, 
What are they waiting for? Why not release a version for the Nintendo Switch? Now before we get to our final game, I would just like to add an honorable mention to a game that would be incredible on the Nintendo Switch, and that is the Bioshock Collection. I think Bioshock is a game that everyone should experience even if they don't have the older consoles. And Bioshock, with Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite, would look incredible on the Switch, especially for the Switch's small screen, which would make the quality of the game even better for portable playing. So, on to our final one. And finally, which I think is probably a no-brainer at this point, put Grand Theft Auto V on the Nintendo Switch. Now, sure, they can definitely port in the older versions of Grand Theft Auto onto the Nintendo Switch, because let's be honest, the Nintendo Switch is a very powerful console, and it can play any of the older versions very easily. I would be impressed, by the way, if they were to put Grand Theft Auto V on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm pretty sure they would get another shortage of consoles if they put this on the Switch. Because it's such a popular game, people would probably buy the Switch by the masses just to play this game on the Switch. It would be incredible. Now, after saying all of that, I still feel that it's still worth buying the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is such a unique console, like I said before, that people just need to buy this and experience it for themselves. Now, I personally don't own a Switch, but I feel like adding these games to the Switch lineup would really add a sense of, look at how much power this little thing can actually take. So after saying all of that, I still feel the Nintendo Switch is still worth buying. And I feel like after a year, and analyzing everything that I've said about the Switch in the past, I feel like now would be the right time to buy a Switch. Because a year has passed, new updates have come out for the Switch, the Switch's UI has, you know, evolved, and I still feel like there's a lot to grow on the Nintendo Switch. And a lot of ports are coming to the Switch at an incredible rate, and I feel like, in addition, to its lineup with the games that I've mentioned would be incredible. And I think the Switch would sell out a lot faster if it had these titles and people were wanting to experience these titles on their own. So, what do you think? Go in the comments down below, give me what you think about these consoles. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Grand Theft Auto would be a good title to have on the Nintendo Switch? Do you think that any of the titles that I mentioned would be great on the Switch? Please leave those down in the comments. And while you're down there, there's a little red button called the subscribe button. If you can go ahead and press that button and add yourself over to my subscriptions, it would be awesome because you'll be able to see all my new videos that I'm going to be releasing. And if you want to, go ahead and leave a little like, you know, right there. Because if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for listening to what I had to say, and uh, we'll see you later.